The world is mourning the death of the seventh Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan. He was born on the 8th of April 1938 in Kumasi, Ghana. From 1954 to 1957, Mr. Annan attended the elite Fansimpin School, a Methodist boarding school in Cape Coast founded in the 1870s. And I went on to study economics at McAllister College, international relations from the Graduate Institute in Geneva, and management at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He began his career at the United Nations in 1962, working for the World Health Organization's Geneva office. He went on to work in several capacities at the UN headquarters, including serving as Under Secretary General for Peacekeeping between 1992 and December 1996. Kofi Annan was appointed as the Secretary General on the 13th of December 1996 by the Security Council and later confirmed by the General Assembly, making him the first office holder to be elected from the UN staff itself. Kofi Annan's two-term tenure in the United Nations as Secretary General reformed the UN bureaucracy. He worked to combat HIV and AIDS, especially in Africa, and launched the UN Global Impact. After leaving the United Nations, he founded the Kofi Annan Foundation in 2007 to work on international development and mobilize political will to overcome threats to peace, development and human rights. The foundation was also a humanitarian funding for malaria and HIV and AIDS. His humanitarian work won him a Nobel Prize, but also earned him a lot of critics. In 2012, Mr. Kofi Annan was the UN Arab League Joint Special Representative for Syria to help find a lasting solution to the ongoing conflict there. In September 2016, he was appointed to lead a UN commission to investigate the Rohingya crisis. Kofi Annan got married to Titi Alakija, a Nigerian woman from an aristocratic family, in 1965, and together they had two children, a boy and a girl. The couple separated in the late 1970s and divorced in 1983. In 1984, Kofi Annan married Nani Maria Legergren, a Swedish lawyer at the United Nations. He died peacefully on the morning of August 18, 2018, after a brief illness. He was aged 80.